just out having an exploring day today. We've just been driving around and end up at Ashdown Forest, which is where it was given to William the Conqueror in 1066 after the Battle of Hastings. And then Henry VIII used to um, come here and go hunting. And where A.A. Milne is reported to have um, done the scene, or not the scene, written about poo sticks, which is where Crystal Robin and Pooh throw a stick over a bridge and it goes down and they uh, pay poo sticks. So it's quite a famous little place. It's cute, eh? Yeah. It's a little bit muddy, so we couldn't really go very far. Christo looks like he's just walked through. Christo looks like he's just walked through a mud pile. Look at the state of ya. <laughs> We're just at Beachy Head. It's lovely, but wow, it's windy edge. You don't want to get too close to the edge. There's a lighthouse down there as well. Christo, please come away from the edge. Cold day, but wow, it's beautiful out here. Just been for a little walk on Beach Head. I don't know if you can tell, but I'm a little bit windswept. Yeah, just a little bit. <laughs> just a little bit. Chris says, all right. I took my hat off, neck minute. Oh, that was hard work, man. So, we today are in Winchelsea. There's a bit of a story behind it. We've had a bit of an issue with our bathroom and we're getting it replaced, so we've had to come away for a week, which is fine. It's you know, it's a horrible time of year, but who cares? Anyway, we're driving to Dover Castle. Everywhere we're trying to go today is closed. Everywhere we try to go today is closed. So we drove back towards where we're staying. And then I had to go to the toilet. And you know, as you get older, your bloody waits for no man. So I said to Christo, quickly, find me a public toilet. So we were driving along and I thought, oh, we'll go to the seaside because the beach has normally got a public toilet. Get down there, everything's shut. It is February. Oh no, it's supposed to march today. Oop, oop, first day of spring. So we went to Winchelsea, wasn't anything there. So I said to Christo, you need to find me a public toilet now. Anywho, he takes me on this steep hill and we end up in Winchelsea. We just had a lovely lunch, which I will insert a picture of here, down here. Quite reasonable. Sandwich was massive. We shared one because it was so big. And now we're going to look around Winchelsea. Oh, I wonder if that's Camber Castle. <laughs> I wonder. Yeah. There's a. There's a. Winchelsea is a medieval. Oh, it, it was founded in 12, a, 12 something or other by someone. I'll look it up. It used to be down by the sea, but that got taken over by the sea. So now we are on the top of the hill. It was 1255, 1255 AD. It was founded. And we're just about to go in the churchyard and we just found out that Spike Milligan is um, buried in there so we'll show you his grave and now to this which I think might be Camber Castle so stay posted folks there's some ruins here we're not entirely sure what they are we think they might be Camber Castle but we'll go and have a look and let you know you'll know when we know that's John Wes no, yeah, John Wesley's Chapel, which was um, erected in 1705. He was the founder of the Methodist Church. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> and then across the road, this looks like an old church. This is a kind of castle. No. But it is a ruin nonetheless. Well, it was just a, it was a, mis it was a mistake. We didn't mean to come up here. But actually, it's been lovely. Found the most gorgeous pub. We found loads of history, and now we're going to go and look at a, a really nice. Don't do the whole crystal. Oh, that's old. <laughs> so we're in 1066 country, which is Hastings, that area where the Battle of Hastings took place in 1066. There's a little thing here. Watch out. Um, and for those of you who don't know, it was also a lot to do with smugglers. Um, you know, a couple hundred years ago, they used to smuggle rum in and stuff like that. Well, there's a, here apparently, there's 50 cellars, medieval cellars, underneath. We can't go on the tour because it's closed at the moment. But yeah, this was built on cellars, so they obviously use this for bringing in, um, for smuggling stuff as well. I Not think it was a rum. Was it the rum? A rum. Well, they had lots of tariffs on things in them days. It was like Poldark. We've been watching Poldark, eh? And they, down in Cornwall, there's lots of places that they used to use for that. Yeah. Yeah. So for those of you that don't know, 1066 was the Battle of Hastings. That's when Harold, King Harold, was defeated by William the Conqueror and he got a arrow in his eye. Yeah, he got an arrow in his eye. So that's why Hastings is so infamous because the Battle of Hastings took place. Let me work that out, 1066. 
uh, like a thousand years ago, over a thousand years ago. So, yep, Harold got a arrow in his eye from William the Conqueror. This place is amazing. Many old buildings and um, what are they called? Walls. <laughs> it's just like he could do Piketty. So, I don't think there's anything here from 12 AD, 1200, but a lot of these houses are very, very old. And we're about to come up to an archway that is the entrance that we came up. I don't know if you can make out these little pavers. That looks like quite an old looking doorway. I think we might have found one of the entrances down to the cellars. So we are standing on the lookout, lookout which was built in 1867 as a viewing point for visitors. You can't see a lot today because we're it's in Mud Island. Foggy. Very foggy. Oh, that's why. So we went to Dungeness earlier and we couldn't figure out why there was all um, fences around it, but it's because it's a power station. It's a nuclear power station. Yeah, I thought so. Yeah. So the area in front of it. us in the 13th century was a Spadland Marsh. The low mess of Camber Castle. Oh, Camber Castle's here. We were looking for that earlier and we couldn't find it. So we're going to go and find that. This is the Strand Gate that we're just going to go up to now. But this is over 150 years old. Wow. Gosh, cars actually go still through it. So this is the Strand Gate. It's one of the three surviving medieval gates of Winchelsea. Built 1300 shortly after the building of New Winchelsea, it stands at the top of Strand Hill following a steep climb from the former harbour at the bottom. So the bottom was the harbour, but that's all gone now. That got swallowed up by the sea. Got all ancient walls here. And then this. Say that again, Tammy. We're going to go in now and start looking for Spike Milligan's grave. This is the benefice of Winchelsea. <laughs> All the daffodils. Good. You need big arches on the outside of the church. Chelsea. I'm sure none of you really care but the battery ran out on our phones the other day so we couldn't get what we wanted. I really want to find Spike Milligan's um, grave. That's not it. I know that's what it looks like. So just appreciate the fact that I'm getting wet feet for you lot. Not that you're going to watch it and not that you care. Right, I think I might have found out which one it is. I think it's this one, is it? Nope. Oh, it's that one. The one with flowers. Oh, the one that's got a well beaten path to it. Duh, that would have. See? Is it? 
and it's got some flowers on it. Terence Allen Spike Milligan CBE 1918-2002 and it says Gra Muir Orc Shilash which I've got on Google that says see I told you I was ill.